What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and the guitar that we're jamming on today is called a Breedlove Atlas. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Tennessee Whiskey on guitar is that we're going to be in standard tuning and we will not need a capo to play this song. The next thing we would usually go over for a song is the structure, but we're actually going to repeat the same chord progression through the entire song. Then we just have a little intro picking pattern at the very beginning, so you don't have to worry about the structure for this one. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive into Tennessee Whiskey is the two chords that you need to play this song. Yes, only two chords. The first one is an A chord. And the next one is B minor. And I'll have short chord tutorials for both of those chords linked in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Tennessee Whiskey. Guys, this is an awesome, awesome country song. If you're a fan of country music or really any music at all, you've definitely heard this song before. It's a really groovy one, and I really like this song, even though it's a few years old, because it just is a little bit different than everything else that's going on in country music right now. Chris Stapleton really does his own thing, and I'm a fan of that, especially when it comes to country music. So with that in mind, guys, the first thing we're going to take a look at for Tennessee Whiskey is this picking pattern that plays in the intro. It's very iconic. It's become a very staple iconic cool intro picking pattern thing it's very bluesy and i'm really stoked to share it with y'all it's also a lot easier than it sounds we're going to break this up into four pretty beginner friendly parts so the first little section that we start out with we're going to pick the low e open and then we're going to pick a second fret on the low e and then an open a and then we're going to put a second fret on the a we're going to pick it and slide it up to the fourth fret just like that. That's your first section. So, so far, should start sounding pretty familiar already. So, getting into our second section, what we're going to do is we're going to start here with a second fret on the A string, and we're going to slide that up to the fourth, and then slide it back down to the second pretty quick. So, it's going to look like this. Just about like that. Then we'll pick an open A. And then we're going to do that same second slide to fourth and then back to second again. About like that. And that's our whole second section. So it'll look kind of like this. Just about like that. Then we're into our third section. For our third section, we're going to do some more slides. We're going to start here on the second fret of the A string, slide it up to fourth. And then we're going to do that same thing again. And then we're going to do another one of those second fret on the A string, slide up to fourth, slide back down to second. And that's our whole third section. All that put together kind of looks like this. Just about like that. And then our last section, we're going to do another one of those second on the A, slide up to fourth, slide back down to second on the A. So, and then we're going to pick two open A's. Just about like that. And that is the fourth section, and that's that whole picking pattern. It's nothing too crazy. It only plays once through in the intro just like that. The other thing that's pretty cool about this intro picking pattern is that it plays pretty slow, and it really does separate out those four sections. You got a little pause in between each section, so even most beginners should have no problem with that. So with all that in mind, guys, once all the way through the intro picking pattern for Tennessee Whiskey will look about like this without me talking. Guys, the only other thing you need to know to play Tennessee Whiskey on guitar is what we're playing for our chord progression that repeats through the entire rest of the song start to finish. Even including underneath that intro, there's a chord progression and there's a strum pattern to go along with it that repeats through the whole entire song. And it only is those two chords that we were using. So what it's going to look like is about like this. We're going to start here with an A chord. And then we go B minor. B minor again. And then back to A. And that chord progression right there repeats through literally the whole entire song. Now, what we're going to be doing for a strum pattern is pretty straightforward here, but let's walk through it together. We're going to start here with an A chord. What we're going to do is we're going to play down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, twice for each chord. So it'll look about like this full speed. It'll go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up,
kind of about like that for each chord. And you'll notice that some of those strums are underlined. And the reason that those are underlined is because you're gonna put the focus strums there. So the ones that are underlined, you're gonna really make a big strum out of it. And the ones that aren't underlined, you're gonna play just a little softer. So really it's gonna be like down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Just about like that. You really put the focus of the strum pattern on that first strum and then the last strum of the second section. So pretty straightforward guys, nothing too crazy in this. It's a pretty simple chord progression and a pretty simple strum pattern to go along with it. Most beginners shouldn't have too many problems with this. But with all that in mind, a couple of times through the chord progression and strum pattern, it's gonna repeat all the way through Tennessee Whiskey. will look about like this without me talking. And guys, that's everything that you need to know to play Tennessee Whiskey on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 925 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. Hit up my Instagram and TikTok if you want to see a play along with this song and a lot of other songs that I teach. Guys, Tennessee Whiskey is a beautiful and awesome song. It's become one of those iconic iconic songs and definitely a staple in country music and kind of music in general. It seems like most people, even if they're not crazy about country music, really like Chris Stapleton and especially Tennessee Whiskey, of course. This has become really an iconic guitar song as well because it's a really great one for beginners to cover and start with because it is just those two chords. Now it does have that B minor in there, which is a bar chord and is a little bit challenging, but it's still fairly beginner friendly because if you can get that B minor down, the whole entire song is just A's and B minors. And then you do have that intro, which is kind of optional if you're covering it, but I think it sounds really cool, so might as well learn it. But guys, this is a groovy, groovy song. I've wanted to teach this song for a long time and never just actually sat down and taught it. So I had a lot of fun learning this one. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.